one day you become begin to become conscious and you say, my goodness, how did I get in this mess? <laughs> you know, things are complicated and in my own personal case, they were not entirely happy and as I was growing up. And then you start asking, how did I get here? And where might I go from this point? In classic narratives of conversion and faith, Doubt historically has often been represented as a phase that someone goes through before coming to faith, or as a crisis that leads to faith. What we've come to understand in the last 150 years or so is that doubt has internalized itself within the experience of faith. And I think so, for so many of us, uh, adult life involves knowing that we once felt and thought differently and had a, a, a feeling of magical wholeness that we've lost. You become aware of yourself as a conflicted, self-conscious individual, a sexual being and a being bound towards death. Narrative can help us by giving us the capacity to find in the record of the past and specifically God's faithfulness in the past, grounds for hope for the future. The Bible begins in a garden and ends in a city. And I've always tried to tell my students, and remind myself, that's why in, in human life our goal can't be to go back to the innocence of the childhood we have lost. The way back is barred. The Christian life is about the way forward. But the way forward is the way forward through the cross and the empty tomb. The older I get, the less nostalgic I become and the more I become oriented towards the future. She just always says it in four quartets. It says old men ought to be explorers. Mm -hmm.